I hope you are hearing me, Lucifer. It's time to really get some things off the chest. Since you've been doing that same thing lately, talking to Jesus Christ lately, keep in mind the Father has been keeping keeping me updated with what's been going on. But for some reason, it's very, very strange because you always have ways to really wanting my attention. Now, yeah, I do understand it's just a way of being bad. I get that. And this is something I've been leaving out for a while. Evil has ways to annoy me. I am not somebody who's going to get frightened, but simply annoyed. But I want to really bring something up in this. Lucifer. You might be the only one who has always came around me a lot. Maybe there are times I probably have bumped into your son. Maybe once, maybe. I don't know. Can't really say. But I'm only familiar with your energy every time when you're around. We both know that, Lucifer. I think that's kind of why you want to test my mind to see if I would know who you are. In case if I don't, it goes to the point where like, okay, I can get away with this. He doesn't know it's me. I guess that's what they say about, you know who I am. Keep that in mind to anybody who hears that. If you hear someone says, you know who I am, approaching you in a very aggressively way. It's just for a way testing your mind to see if you can see through the body. But I think now in these days, Christians are familiar on how Lucifer approaches people these days now. And that is true. The thing about me is I'm not, I'm not Christian, so I'm, I'm Catholic pretty much. It's different. But anyways... I've seen only you, Lucifer, who's always come around me, and I know for a fact your friends are always motivating you to uh, keep approaching me to see if anything changes. Your friends have never, cannot do anything to change me, no matter how much they don't give a damn. Excuse my language, Father. <laughs> The heavens know I'm a very, pretty much a potty mouth, but even I know I can use that potty mouth ways to use it against you, Lucifer. You already know this, but since you don't really care about anything at all, neither do I, but how is it that you're the only one who visits me a lot? How? I have never met your son. I've ne never met... Your other one or the rest of you devils out there every single prince of all seven I have not met neither of you well apparently from all the visits that I've been doing lately in the spirit world apparently you guys are aware of me Pretty interesting how uh, you can pick up nicknames pretty easy when they see the kind of person you are, which I know I've picked up a few. I mean, literally. But the heavens have given me a nickname. And I know some out there are probably curious what that nickname is. The one thing that used to go through my mind was... The one who breathes fire. When you see and hear a nickname like that, what does that kind of tell you? I am not somebody who would just go crazy with nicknames, but I accept the nickname. Don't get, don't get me wrong. But 
Your friends have never been around me, Lucifer. Neither of you devils. You're the only one, Lucifer, who's always been around me a lot. Now, I'm not saying that none of your other friends are afraid. No, I have a feeling that one of you guys will probably be tough enough to probably approach me like Lucifer. But, now that you're realizing that Lucifer has failed to try and do anything with me, you guys are aware of my strength. And that is something that will eat you alive. That's why you don't try to tempt it. But also because you guys, some of you guys are pretty much chained up as well. You guys are bonded in chains because you guys have done the worst. And that is pretty much true. I want all you devils to understand something. I'm going to be the last thing that's always going to stand up to you guys. I think there's going to be more than just me who's going to do the same thing. Make no mistake, I'm the last thing you really don't want to cross. You devils have always been known for putting fear on humanity your whole generations that has passed decades until you finally bumped into a brick wall that stood in your way. Me. That's where the line has been drawn. I was going to stand in the way to stop you. And don't get me wrong. I'm glad I'm in the way. That's why you've been doing a lot of talking, Lucifer. A lot of talking. And in case if anybody wants to know the dream message, this is a brand new one. Lucifer has been talking bad about me. He's been visiting the heavens. So I'm going to go ahead and describe what Jesus Christ had sent me. So check this out. The father is having a conversation with the devil. And like always, when you have a conversation, your arms are extended as you're talking. And that's what Lucifer was doing. But when I was looking at Jesus Christ, it showed Jesus Christ going like this, like he's in a thinking point. Like, Lucifer is saying something. Okay? And then once the dream message stopped, it shows an image of Lucifer getting into my face, like, yelling, pointing fingers. And it shows an image of myself, like, he's kind of getting in, in my face directly. And then something shows, like, something shoved him. It shows an image of myself standing above him, staring down on Lucifer as he kind of sat there on his behind, looking up at me as the father was right next to me as well, looking at what was going on in the situation. So, the whole thing is light, if you guys must know. But with these three messages, I know I'll be receiving a lot. Jesus Christ is always going to let me know what's going on and what the devil's been talking about. So it really got to show you that Lucifer is really running his mouth a lot. I got two more videos that is coming. Hope you guys enjoy it.